Hey guys, we're live with a tutorial video this time, and I'm going to show you two riffs, one from Ask Alexandria and one from Rings of Saturn that use the same arpeggio. So, when I was learning uh, the song Desolate Paradise by Rings of Saturn, I came across this arpeggio. I was like, hmm, I felt like I've used this before somewhere. And then it happened to be in a an Asking Alexandria song, and I'm like, wow. So I'll teach you the Asking Alexandria riff first. It's from uh, the final episode. It's like near the end of the song, and it goes. So that's just five chugs three times in the open D power chord. And then, so this is the shape. It's five, Six, eight, five, six, eight, and that's going from the A string to D to G, G, D, back to A. And you do the chugs again and just move it up two frets. And that's the riff. So this arpeggio shape, it's outlining like a, a minor seven flat five this note in here, the minor third in there, and like a half step note in there. So a lot of people don't use this arpeggio in their music because like, I guess like they feel it doesn't fit that well, but I guess in these songs they, they happen to fit when they were writing it, so they just kept it in there. <laughs> I would say it's a guitar practice kind of thing, like a guitar finger practice thing, because if you played this on like a piano or something else, it would be a totally different fingering compared to guitarists just doing that, and it's so close together. So you never thought asking Alexandria would use jazz chords, huh? So for the Rings of Saturn riff, this is a way more difficult kind of riff to play, but I'll just show you if you want to learn it. So, this riff is later in the song uh, Desolate Paradise by Rings of Saturn, and it starts on some arpeggios, and then does some diminished parts, and then it does some more weird BPM changes, and we'll get into it. So it descends on a D-sharp minor arpeggio. Tremolo picks that note, and then you you do it again, but shorter, and then you do it again, and Tremolo picks that note, the 13th fret on the A string, and then half step up, and then it ascends on a, a D minor arpeggio, so it's a half step down. You tremolo pick this 17th fret on the E string. So you go up the arpeggio once and then restart again. Tremolo pick that again and then half step down to the 16th fret. And then it goes to this diminished part. So it's. So that's 4, 7, 5, 8. Seven, five, eight, five, seven, eight, seven, five. That's going from the, the D string to the E string, back down to the G string, and then B, and then to the E string again. And then it goes a half step up, and that's. Nine six eight nine six eight five eight six nine eight six and then it goes into this chromatic tapping part. So it starts on the thirteenth fret and you you pull off to the nine 
10, 11, 12, you hammer on all of these notes on the E string. And you do that same shape going down one string and one fret. And you end on the D string, and then you do that same thing two frets up. So you're tapping on the 15th. And then the BPM changes and you do this. And that's where the, the arpeggio is, the minor 7 flat 5 with these notes in there. So it's like you're outlining a dominant arpeggio and then a the arpeggio right there. So that's where the <laughs> similarity comes in. So it's 15, 17, 19, 15, 17, 19. But it goes from the A string to D, G, G, D, A. And go one fret down and do that the arpeggio. And then have to do these sweeps that are from 15, 17, 19, going from the D string down, and then you do the same shape on the G string to the E string, and after the, the second time you repeat the whole riff, you just slide down. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I might make more tutorial videos on full songs or solos or something. So, um, but without tabs, because tabs kind of take a long time to make, <laughs> maybe I'll do that, we'll see. So I'll see you guys later.